Yep, yeah, why not? Let's go for the scores. Interesting. So who wants to go first? <laughs> should I go or should I go last? Yeah, you can go. You can go. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Whoever. Oh, yeah. You go first. Okay. I give the score of the finale a five. Ooh. That's pretty good. That's not bad. A five. That is yeah. It's a bit disappointing, but fairly okay. <laughs> they didn't really complete the arcs in the way that I expected. And that arc with Freetown, even though it did go through, it wasn't the way I said it would be. Yeah. But effectively, we still find out that Cloud Bath is still alive. It wasn't the way. Yeah. In the yeah. end. <laughs> so that's one thing. Uh, the action sequences tend to be a bit dated and slow. Yeah. So, so like for a TV show, yeah, it's okay, but you wouldn't expect this sort of action in a high budget film or TV show. And this one seemed to have been a bit lacking a bit. So it wasn't really high budget, I guess. Or maybe it was, I just didn't notice too much. Mm. The Grego part was okay. And some of the battle scenes were fairly decent. And I, I'm wondering how they didn't get the whole King Kong reference. Oh, yeah. yeah what did you, you guys, okay. you guys, you guys um, yeah, remind you of that when the Rancor was climbing the tower, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I thought of King Kong as well. Yeah. And it was also like a semi kaiju battle type situation. Yeah. yeah. Like, really? It's like two big enemies fighting across each other. Like, oh. climbing the tower. Yeah. Like Pacific Rim style. <laughs> oh, King Kong, King, King Kong Rancor scene. <laughs> yeah, I felt that way. Yeah. 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 But overall, fairly okay. Not the best ending. The whole Cad Bane situation. Is a bit also a bit iffy. Mm. So Cad Bane, uh, I would say that he still survived because okay. he survived worse with a medical droid. So yeah. 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 Overall, five out of ten. Oh. Uh, so given that this is the last. Episode. Should we also do a, oh, film, a, whole series, uh, a series? Uh, well. Yeah, good idea. Yeah. Hey, yeah, why not? For the okay. series, what do you give it? That was. I thought it was a really decent series to flesh out the character if we were fed a bit more. Uh, some fans may not like it. Some other fans would probably like it, depending on which side you are on. Yeah. So, are you a fan of the new version of Boba Fett, or are you a fan of the old Re Boba Fett, mm. which didn't talk too much and was a bit more mysterious and exactly a bit more scary? Exactly. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah, a bit more ominous. What What did you give it the whole series, Jono? I'd give it a six. Oh, mm. so more, more than this one. Okay. Yeah. It's a decent story. It's not something that you'd probably want to ignore also because the Mandalorian is in it. So yeah, six out of ten for the series. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, for me, I think yeah, finale wise, it's a decent finale. Um and you know appropriately uh Boba Fett shows up. Um and, and there's, there's a few really cool action scenes, especially when he was teaming up with Mendo. Uh, I thought that was like pretty cool. And also obviously he riding the Rancor. And the final showdown with Cat Bane was also a good moment. So yeah, a couple of good Boba Fett moments. And at the same time, it also manages to like set up, you know, Men Mendo season three. Um, so yeah, I'd probably give it a 7.5 for me. Mm. And but series, series as a whole, not bad, <laughs> but at times 
I I also like wonder what's the point. I mean, to me, it's more like a as you guys already said, like a Mendel season two point five. You know, um, I mean, it does try to flesh out Boba Fett's character a little bit. Um, you know, trying to humanize him, which I'm not sure if it really is the right thing to do. <laughs> um, yeah, but it, but it sets up a new canon, is what. It's yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, because even in in the episodes themselves, other characters have said, "You've gone soft, old man." <laughs> well, then that's actually showing that he was actually the badass that he was. Which what? kind of affects the way that he was actually quite a badass. Well, he was a badass, well, but was, now he's he gone soft. <laughs> well, well, at least they admitted in the show instead of saying no, he's still the same as he was. <laughs> yeah, They're admitting yeah. that he gone soft. Everyone mm. says it. Everyone he knew says it. Yeah, that's Bane, right. And maybe that's also echoing what fans <coughs> are thinking. Like, why is he kind of soft in this in the show? So they confirmed it. That's not bad. Exactly. So they confirm what fans are thinking. Uh, which may may be their intention. I don't know. I think but, that was their intention. But you know, yeah, whether or not uh, yeah. that fans uh, like it or not, that's another matter, right? So, yeah. so because you know, like it is a bit like when George Lucas <coughs> tried to explain away the Force by coming up with midi chlorians. It just oh, takes yeah, away that was, the. That was just completely. Yeah, exactly. It just takes away the mystique <laughs> of it, like a, right? In the same way, you know, it's like yeah. Boba Fett, right? Always kind of like just in the background, and not doing much and not saying much, right? It gets to that rid of a bit the mystique, yeah. Um, so, yes. So, I, I don't know. I don't know if... yeah. So, yeah, overall, probably give it... I'll still give it a seven. <laughs> for the series or for the episode? Yeah, for the series. Yeah. Oh, sure. mm. And for yeah. the episode? Episode, I think it was 7.5. 7. 7. 7. 5. Yeah. That's 7.5. Mm. Oh, awesome. How much for this yeah. episode? Yeah. So. Oh, I gave it a 7.5. <coughs> oh, as well. Okay. Okay, Benny or yeah. Jeff? Yeah. I thought, yeah, I thought like Marcus, yeah, like uh, you're saying that, um, yeah, he. Um, I guess they're trying to change it. They're trying to change, um, change his, you know, his uh, the way he he was. He's a bounty badass bounty hunter, but you're trying to change him to a, a more of a good character, more of a, like yeah. a, a good, mm. like a good, like a more humane you know, with, character, with yeah. human integrity kind of thing, mm. I guess. But but I guess it, it could. It's a love and hate thing. Like sometimes we like it, sometimes won't. And but I see. Yeah, I see it as a positive and uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, and this finale, I thought it was a decent finale. It was um, had some way, very well choreographed action scenes. And um, I thought, you know, the, the final battle with the assembled, the assembled alliance with, you know, with all the, the big battles and the, um, the Cajun style battle. <laughs> yeah. It was pretty good. Um, so yeah. that's, all the highlights of the finale. I, I guess it was a bit predictable. Like we, we knew that you know Greg is gonna come along and um, help out and um, mm. and the other guys, the other guys in the team gonna come to help out and yeah. but still it was it was a decent episode and it does set up it definitely does set up Melinda in season three and um, mm. and a, a decent conclusion. So um Yes, yeah, so I'll give it a seven, a seven out of ten for the finale. Mm-hmm. Um, and with and with the the whole series, I think um, there's a you know decent a decent series, a decent spin off of a uh, you know of a famous Star Wars character. Um, I think like um, uh, John and Marcus said it by showing more of uh, Boba's true colors, it can take away the Mystic of uh, of his character, but mm. I guess it's showing a, a new side to him. 
yeah like you say it's like um, yeah it's taken to a new canon so um so i i see what they're trying to do and um mm -hmm. yeah going 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 forward in the future with the uh, future movies and series he, he'll become a, a different kind of bubble fit a new bubble fit so uh overall the series you know it was not bad so uh had some good good arcs i guess um the story was uh, i guess the story was you know it was okay um had some decent development in the characters um but there's some i guess still some gaps to fill so so i'll give it uh a six and a half for the whole series mm. Say two more. Interesting. Bill and Jeff. Um, all right, I'll go first. Um, so this one, I'll give it a seven, I think. Um, yeah, it's, it's a little bit, little bit slow, but I thought the um, the character, I mean, the characters were, were quite good. Like Boba met Mando again. Um, Grogu came in and met met Mando. Um, Brought in the rancor, and um, yeah, the fighting. Yeah, I, I mean, the, the, the Cad Bane's fighting was, I guess, was anti, a bit anticlimactic. Um, I wish it was a better fight between those two, but um, <laughs> yeah, that didn't last long at all. <laughs> yeah, it didn't last long. <laughs> it was really cheesy. He just flipped, flipped him over, and, and yeah, but I thought it was, it was, it was I thought it was a bit stronger than that. But anyway, um, disappointed. Yeah, but the other fighting, I, I thought it was okay. It was interesting. That that that, that shield thing. That strong shield thing that, that was quite cool. I, I yeah. thought, yeah, he, he he was very strong and he, he withstanded a lot of um, pressure from the Rancor and the Mando and the, the Dark Saber and um, yeah, and he, he, even against Grogu, he, 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 mm. he, did, quite, he did, did quite well, I think. Yeah, um, but yeah, it was interesting that that scene. Uh, but it, you're right, it was dragged on a bit. No, actually, what what dragged on a bit was the thing before that, before the. That thing came on. It was people shooting around. Could have, could have, could have skipped that bit actually. Just people shooting each other. Yeah, that, that was the boring bit. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why they why they shot. You said you said the treaty, the abuse of the treaty or something. No, yeah. the, the Pike Syndicate turned the Pike Syndicate. Against, yeah, okay. Like he, he caused something. Yeah. Well, that was due to the clans in Los Espa um, not being what they said to be neutral. They yeah. had a treaty to Peace. for them to be neutral, but yeah. they turned against it because of the pikes. Oh, for the pike. Yeah, a bit of a curve border. Yeah. yeah, fair enough. Um, so that was okay. Um, yeah. yeah, and then I guess uh, overall, overall, I give it. I want to give it eight actually. I I I I, I, I give the overall higher than high, yeah. it's good. quite high. Yeah, because um, yeah, we we saw Luke and Ahsoka in the previous ones. Yeah, true. Um, and Grogu, obviously, but also I, I like the begin the first one, like how how Boba came came out of the Scarlet Pit. I thought that was quite, yeah, interesting, fascinating how he survived all this time. Well, he survived that the same way in the canon, just yeah. not by the. Because I've always wondered, like after Return of the Jedi, oh, where did he go? <laughs> where, where did, um, what that's happened? A good, to him? Yeah. That's a good explanation. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Good. Good to bring him back and. And all that. Um, yeah, look, I'll give I'll give it an eight. Yeah, okay. An eight series. Yeah, yeah. from series. Wow. All right. Uh, Bill. Okay. Well, I'm coming into it having uh, no clue um, about uh, Bob of Fat or anything. About Bob the Fed um, before um, his history or anything mm -hmm. like that, or you know, mm -hmm. um, any any of the the factions around him, only a couple of the things in there. Um, it, um, it was enjoyable mm -hmm. um some some uh, places 
it did uh, draw uh, with me a bit. Um, but um, at other places, um, I did enjoy it. Um, so, um, yeah, uh, uh, for, for the whole series, um, but because I enjoyed um, uh, Mandalorian, um, Grogu, and and uh, and Boba Fett, the the the, the character of uh, Boba Fett, um, I'd you know um, I would up it um, from a from a four to a five. Uh, for the whole series, and uh, tonight, but uh, tonight's episode, I'd say that uh, was probably uh, the best, best episode so far, and uh, because it was uh, combining all, uh, all elements uh, of the uh, of the series. So yeah, uh, tonight's um, episode I would uh, probably rate it uh, an eight. Oh, so so mm. eight for the episode, and what was it? Five for the series? You say? Yeah. Five. Yeah. Okay. Five. Yeah. Really different scores. <laughs> um, IGN's nine for the oh, wow. finale, uh, but Amazing. for the Season one is what is it? Let's see, uh, seven, which was the same as what I gave. So entertaining, if uneven, right? Interestingly, yep. the Rotten Tomatoes finale yeah. has the <laughs> is the worst, the worst uh, oh, rated really? <laughs> um, on oh. at least on Rotten Tomatoes. I'd probably agree with that. Interesting. <clears throat> you gave it a five, yeah. I gave it a five. Yeah. <clears throat> For me, it was one of the top three. The finale, top three. Top three. Person. I'm still disappointed by the whole cat bait fight. Okay. <laughs> cat bait, yeah. There was, like Jeff said, a little bit anticlimactic. <clears throat> Seriously, it's the trainer of Boba Fett, and he didn't last that long. He didn't last that long. But maybe they're trying to show, oh, yeah. the because skills, he right? used his, his Tuscan, Tuscan skill rather Tuscan than stuff. his yeah. the skill he was trained in, which was exactly. his multi hunter. So threw him off guard, right? He didn't see it coming. Yeah, yeah. threw him off guard. Okay. Mm. He used different <laughs> skills. <laughs> yep, Rob. Yep. Oh, he's a, ma- he's a master, a trainer. Right? Yeah. 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 He's a mentor, not mentor. the master. Oh, wow. Mentor team. Hmm. 